joint Balikatan exercise of the AFP and US forces is not just a training exercise, it is also a partnership in providing service to communities close to where the exercises are held. Whenever disaster strikes anywhere in the country, AFP forces are the first to respond and in some incidents, US forces provided support in terms of relief and rescue operations. Joining us tonight, live on Newslife, is Major Emmanuel Garcia, spokesman of the Joint Balikatan Exercises. Good evening, sir. Good evening, and thanks uh, for giving us the time to explain to our televiewers uh, what Balikatan is all about. Yes, so um, to start us off, in fact, uh, this year's is the 29th Balikatan Exercise. Um, under what kind of agreement or treaty do, do, do these yearly exercises happen? Balikatan is under the uh, Visiting Forces Agreement and uh, which is in line with the Mutual Defense Treaty between the United States and the uh, Republic of the Philippines. Well, if I may explain, uh, Balikatan is uh, divided into three main events. First is uh, the Humanitarian Civic Assistance Projects, which is composed of uh, the construction of uh, school buildings and other uh, humanitarian uh, aspect and then the HADR or Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Response and the third is the traditional military to military uh, combat maneuvers and we would like to emphasize to our people that uh, in this year the focus is on uh, humanitarian aspect uh, contrary to the belief of uh, many people that uh, this is a purely military exercise. Sir, um, the viewers out there who may be wondering this year the exercises coincide with the Korean issue and um, do, 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 does this issue affect or direct the aim, nature or intensity of the exercises? We would like to reiterate uh, that uh, the ongoing uh, Korean uh, issue is not in any way related to the Balikatan exercises. We have uh, planned Balikatan for uh, a year and uh, the intermediate plan is five years and it is in line with the long-term plan of the Mutual Defense Treaty. And uh, the Korean issue just cropped up a few weeks. Uh, we finished the planning for Balikatan this year last uh, December. What we changed, or what, what we planned is uh, actually a, a traditional military exercise. But because of the incident in uh, Mindanao, because of Typhoon Pablo, we pushed uh, to our American counterparts that, uh, again, this uh, exercise must be focused on HADR. That's why we are doing this. The HADR uh, scenario typhoon and the uh, maritime disaster. So uh, that's the, the whole point of uh, the Balikatan. So in, in terms of this disaster response, what programs will you simulate to ensure the AFP and our people are better prepared to deal with any calamity that will hit them? Well, as I've said that the Balikatan for the, this year is uh, focused on HADR. That's why uh, typhoon scenario is in, uh, was included. And uh, on maritime disaster, we will have the participation of uh, some other countries like uh, New Zealand, Australia, uh, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Thailand, uh, aside from the United States. And uh, what uh, will transpire will become a template uh, and will be distributed to this country so that this will be followed as a, stand, a standing operating procedure when a disaster like this happen. So our people will benefit from this because uh, we will have uh, an efficient, appropriate, and prompt response when disasters like this uh, happen. Sir, in terms of medical um, outreach, medical mission, uh, are these part of the exercise? Yes, th these are parts of the exercise. We have medical and dental missions and civ uh, veterinary civic action programs in Sambales. Uh, we have uh, seven sites. Uh, we are conducting them uh, as uh, we speak. And uh, probably about uh, uh, thousands of people have been uh, vaccinated with, uh, with those uh, medical and dental mission and uh, many people will, uh, will benefit from this. Sir, are there naval exercises to be held at the West Philippine Sea? No, there are no naval exercises in the West Philippine Sea. Uh, the naval exercises are confined in uh, the Manila Bay and Subic uh, Bay uh, because uh, these are limited uh, naval exercises between the U.S. Navy, the Philippine Navy and uh, Marines. And lastly, sir, how effective is Balikatan in ensuring the AFP is ready at all times to defend the country from an attack? Balikatan is uh, under the Mutual Defense Treaty and this aims to make the United States and the Philippines uh, come to a point of interoperability that is uh, prompt in uh, addressing not only combat uh, engagement but uh, more on disasters. We uh, assure our people that Balikatan is mutually beneficial 
to the United States and the Philippines because it addresses the gaps that uh, we see whenever we conduct exercises. And uh, we hope that our people will uh, understand that and uh, we appeal for their support because uh, our country is a member of the community of nations and uh, military to military engagements like this are necessary activities so that uh, our people will benefit and uh, we, can we can properly defend and ensure that uh, our interest in protecting our vast natural resources, our territorial integrity and our sovereignty is protected. All right, well on that, thank you very much, Major Emmanuel Garcia of the Army, spokesman of the Joint Palikatana Exercises. Thank you.